occupied. Get out, Jen. I've got to go. Well, you'll have to wait. I'm busy. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, come on. I really have to go bad. <laughs> Hurry up. I can't hold it much longer. <laughs> I'm serious, Jen. Open up. I was here first, Jonesy, so deal. Actually, your family moved in with us three weeks ago, so technically, I was here first. Sucks to be you then, doesn't it? P takes precedence over hair. Oh, is that another rule made up by your brothers? Because I don't care. Fine, but if there's a puddle out here in a minute, I am not going to be held responsible. You are so disgusting. Get out of the bathroom. No way, Jonesy. I still have to brush my teeth. Whoa. Whoa what? Towel. Other one. <laughs> Okay, calm down. So, I can use the bathroom now? Ah. Oh. Life begins after school. That's when we bend all the rules. Time to hang with all my friends. We like to be together in a place where we belong. 16, starting to find my way, got a new job, gonna start at the mall today, thank God, I'm on my own for the first time, I'm 16, life is sweet, when you're growing up so fast, you gotta make the good times last. I cannot handle Jude and Wyatt knowing what happened this morning. Do you hear me? It goes way beyond all acceptable embarrassment levels. What about me? And if Nikki finds out, we're done for sure. So we're agreed? No one can find out that you saw me, you know, like that. Ever! Definitely. It'll be our little secret. Excuse me. Uh, miss? Sorry, I don't speak English. Yes, I'm looking for a cardigan. It's just a warm... Uh, I'm really sorry. I have no idea what you're saying. Nikki, could you join us, please? Excuse us. That sounded like English to me. Okay, what's so important you had to tear me away from a customer? I have an announcement. Ooh, I love announcements. I know, they're so formal. Ugh, kill me now. Kristen? Kirsten? I've been offered the position of hostess at the new Soft Rock Cafe in the mall! Yee! That restaurant is so major! Yeah, it's it's like ultra! Have you ever actually been in one before? Uh, no. They just built it? <laughs> Duh! It's a real step up for my career in the customer service industry. And why am I supposed to care? Well, the official opening is tonight, which means I'm leaving the barn. Okay. Will you be back before closing? No, guys, this is it. I'm leaving the barn for good. So we'll see you here tomorrow? No, I won't be here. Oh, is this about inventory? No! Oh, for the... Chrissy is quitting. <gasps> Yes, and I have to leave someone in charge until head office hires a replacement. But I can't pick between my two best friends. Aww. And I can't pick Nikki because, well, you're Nikki. So I'm leaving everyone equally in charge. You all know what to do. Make me proud. Oh, I love you guys. Chris, <laughs> oh, we love you too. <laughs> She's not going to war, guys. She's going down the hall. Unbelievable. Yellow. My life is over. And the fun continues. Dripping hot and tasty, too. The burger I'm flipping is just for you. Mm -hmm. Burger McFlipsters raging Cajun fries are so good. You want a burger with those? No, no burger. 
just the fries. Okay, then. Guys, I have something to... <gasps> hey, look what you did to my shirt. Hubba, hubba. <gasps> oh, jerk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that was bad. Yeah, yeah, laugh it up. You grumpy already? It's still morning. If I tell you, you have to swear you won't tell anyone. I mean it. We swear. You got it. Swear. <sighs> I just saw Jen completely naked. <laughs> our Jen? Jen, your stepsister Jen? Yes, Jen, Jen, our Jen. Whoa. And I promised I wouldn't tell you guys, so you are sworn to secrecy. So, did you look? I tried so hard not to, but it was everywhere I looked. This is bad. Dude, tell me about it. I keep picturing my stepsister slash friend all naked. It's a nightmare. Who would have ever thought seeing a girl naked would be a bad thing? Oh, it's bad, bro. We can't even look at each other anymore. What am I gonna do? Okay, just close your eyes and picture something else instead. Something harmless, like, uh, a french fry. Hmm. French fry, check. Now, visualize a burger. You're really fixated on food today, aren't you? One burger coming up. You know what? This is easy. Good. Now try it with ice cream. <laughs> the ice cream cone morphed into Jen naked. I can't get the picture out of my head. Maybe just stick to burgers then. Oh man, I'm gonna be late for my first day on the job. I got a split. That was heavy. Can I have some more fries? Come on, Jen, just tell us what happened. You've got to get it out. We're here for you. <sighs> All right, but you cannot tell a soul. It's in the vault. Well, Jonesy and I were fighting over the bathroom this morning, and he saw me, you know, naked. Oh, is that it? What do you mean, is that it? This is like the third time you've accidentally flashed him. At this point, what's the big deal? She's right, Jen. We've all seen your boobs. Oh, the big deal is that this time he saw everything. <laughs> That's bad. Uh, yeah, exactly. But he's your stepbrother. Oh no, oh no. You're hyperventilating. <laughs> Breathe into this, okay? Deeply and slowly. That's <gasps> it, take it easy. Now, who else knows about this? <gasps> no one. Jonesy promised he wouldn't tell the guys. Well, that's good. Yeah, but I promised I wouldn't tell you guys, and I did. Don't worry. If you act normal, maybe he'll act normal, too. I folded the sweaters like you said. And I dusted the light bulbs. So has Chrissy come back yet? Not yet. When do you think she'll come back? With any luck, never. What if Chrissy never comes back, ever? What will happen? To us. Who will show us what to do? What to wear? What to think? I don't know! Step lively, clones. Customer's on the floor, and I'm not helping him. She's right, Kirsten. We have a wall of boyfriend-sized sweaters out there, and Chrissy would want us to sell them. Okay. Okay. Welcome. I'm your new manager, Chuck Damplefire. You're all part of the inner soft rock circle now. So, first up, Peace. Tonight, we're opening the doors to the world's newest soft rock cafe with an exclusive VIP party. As with every soft rock opening, a major star will attend, and tonight's star is Liza Lohman. Hold up. The Liza Lohman? Teen movie queen, music video siren, girl of my dreams, Liza Lohman? The same, bro. Nice. <gasps> You're gonna need to dial that down a hair, Chrissy. Remember, we're all about the relax here. Much better. So Chuck, righteous mustache man, how long have you been tending that baby? <laughs> we go back about 15 years. Funny story, actually. Sweet. I wish you could meet my friends so you could tell them, too. Well, they could come to the party. How many passes will they need? You're gonna love them. I swear, back soon. <laughs> he reminds me of me. Back before my spirit was crushed by the man. And now, I am the man. Heavy. Ever since Chrissy left, 
Kristen and Kirsten have gone completely off the normal road. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, maybe I'm imagining this, but it seems like lately they're acting like me. Oh, hang on, customer to humiliate. Do you have this in a bigger size? Yes, but it will still make you look like a crusty hairball. <laughs> it really does look crusty! Yeah, crusty, with hair! <laughs> Good one, Kristen. So, how did we do? I see what's happening. They've lost their leader, Chrissy. So in the absence of true leadership, they've resorted to following you. Oh, why me? I hate this place. In this world, there are leaders and there are followers. I guess they see you as a leader. Huh, interesting. I'll call you back. How about this skirt? Oh, oh, let me try. Okay, let's see what you've got. You're ugly! Oh. What was that? I dissed her, just like you do. Oh, you dissed her sister, yeah! Whoa, 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 hold on. That was not a good diss. Look, if you're gonna slam something, focus on the merchandise. Like, oh, wow, that's a great skirt. It could double as a garbage bag. Wow. Can you teach us? You're putting me in charge? Ladies, you're in good hands. <laughs> it's like they're clay, just waiting for me to mold them into miniature versions of me. You're the new Chrissy. Forget Chrissy. This is the dawn of a new era for the khaki barn. Delivery for the Ragin' Cajun Man. Bro, you're a lifesaver. How many fries have you had today? Shh, not in front of the fries. They should all feel special. <gasps> Here comes Jen. Just act normal. Dude, I'm scared. What if I start to picture her naked too? But you haven't seen her naked. I have a pretty good imagination. Um, hey guys. Hey, Jen. <laughs> it's so normal to see you. Uh. So, um, what's new? Nothing. Why do you ask? No reason. In fact, I haven't heard anything about you recently at all. Fry? Since when do you share your food? <gasps> Never! That was close. Guess what Daddy brought home from the salt mines? Mm. Ah, VIP passes to the Soft Rock Cafe opening party. Nice one. <laughs> cool. That's great. Uh, can't make it. Gotta run later. Wait, guess who's gonna be there for the opener? Liza Lohman. No way. I have all her albums. Yeah, all two of them. I've seen every movie she's made. Ugh, you really are a fan. I think you deserve the first pa- <gasps> Jonesy? What's wrong? Can I have a pass? Uh, here you go. One pass for Liza's biggest fanny. I mean fan. Dude, visualize a burger. What are you talking about? <gasps> you know. No, we don't. <gasps> you totally do. Well, obviously so do you. <gasps> you, you told, told them? them? OK, everyone stay calm. You know, it's not that big a deal. Yeah, it's not like I'm gonna, like, always picture you naked or anything. <laughs> I'm sorry, please come back. I mean, back. Oh, Jen. Oh. <sighs> this is officially the first time I've ever liked working here. Should we do another drill? Good idea. Ready and dis that top. That top looks like someone barfed on it. Where is all the service around here? Sorry, we're like busy. How are our sales? Since Chrissy left, down 92%. Excellent. Here's to the new and improved khaki barn. This is Paradise, who's calling? So I made a decision. I'm never gonna be in the same room with Jonesy ever again. Won't that be a little hard? You live in the same house. No, I'll just change my work schedule, my social schedule, my entire life schedule. Well, hold up. You have a life schedule? Uh, yeah. Don't you? Mm. Ew! Where are you? I'm in the loathsome washrooms, hiding from Jonesy. Oh, yeah. That's a foolproof plan. Sarcasm. Just what I was looking for. Look, just stay put. We'll figure something out, okay? <laughs> just 18 months, six days until I leave for college. <laughs> have you ever seen a burger on a yummy, yummy bun? A jumbo rage and Cajun fries, please. You should lay off the fries for a while. Hang on a sec. <gasps> no! Dude! 
dude! Tim's got a strict freshness policy. We have to trash anything that sits under the heat lamps for more than 20 minutes. So trash them into me! No way, I could lose my job. Only employees are allowed to have the 20 minute fries. Employees, eh? <laughs> Where are you? If you're here to drive me to the VIP party at the Soft Rock Cafe, you can just forget it. But Liza Loman's gonna be there. Jonesy will be there too. Okay, that's it. You have every right to be at this party. You can't stop living your life just because of one extremely naked moment. That's easy for you to say. He didn't see your bod. Okay, let's get to the root of what's really bugging you here. Is it that he saw your bits and pieces? Hey! Or that he's gotten to see more of you than you've seen of him? <sighs> I knew it. This is a competitive thing, isn't it? Then there's only one answer. You have to restore the balance here. The balance? You have to see Jonesy naked too. Okay, but how are we gonna manage that? Leave it to me. What? Almost time to rest my feet. End of the day and I smell like meat. Hey there, co-worker. Jude, what are you doing back here? Check it out, I'm undercover. Jude, you've got a serious problem. I know. So many fries, so little stomach. I think you're getting addicted to the fries. Dude, I can stop at any time. Except now, or in the near future. Coming! Ah, ha, ha, ha. <clears throat> Uh-oh. <laughs> no. Oh. That is so wrong. So Jen's not coming? Last thing I heard, she was holed up in the washroom, claiming she'd never be in the same room with you again. Oh man, this is so bad. Kristen, Kristen! Check out Hostess Girl. Hey, Hostess Girl, nice uniform. Yeah, is there a funeral in town? Guys, it's me, Hugs! <laughs> Girls? I don't think so. They're with me now. No! How could you take advantage of them like that? Oh, it was surprisingly easy. Girls, come work with me here. It'll be like old times. <coughs> Get back here, you two. Girls, don't you know who your real friend is? Oh, right. Who did you have more fun with, huh? OK, come with me, and I'll give you passes to the VIP party. Come with me, and I won't fire you. Turned you to the dark side. Come here this instant! Forgive us! We're sorry! That's better. I'll see you at the khaki barn tomorrow. You're coming back? But what about the soft rock cafe? They make me wear black. And what good is a 50% employee discount when they don't even sell clothes? Come <laughs> here back! Ugh, I knew it was too good to be true. <laughs> so, you're still alive. Barely. <laughs> Pass me a fry. We're getting out of here now. Thank you, Wyatt. <laughs> You're the best friend my stomach ever had. Nikki, I don't know where you got that picture, but I feel so much better now. Told you I'd fix you up. Welcome to the Soft Rock Cafe. I thought you were on wait stuff. I was, but ever since Chrissy quit, I'm stuck being the host. You mean hostess. Shut up. Hey, Jen. Hey, Jonesy. What's up? Just hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're here. I thought, you know, you weren't going to show up. And miss meeting Liza? Why would I do that? You know, because of the whole naked thing. Yeah, you know, I've been thinking about that. And maybe I was making too big a deal about it. Really? Really. It's fine. I'm so over it. Well, that's cool. Besides, I just saw a picture of you naked, so now we're kind of even. Well, that's great. What? Hey, wait a minute. I don't think I can handle a party. And that's the 19th reason why you shouldn't have eaten those fries. Can't you find me a hole somewhere to crawl into? <laughs> and die? Have you learned your lesson yet? No eating out of the garbage. Hey! Which one of you two gave Jen a naked picture of me? Why would I have a naked picture of you? What about you? <laughs> oh, sick! Sorry. Aw, oh, that's just great! Wow. She's cute. 
Come on, Jen. Just tell me where you got the picture. Because I'm really sure I've never been naked in the same room as a camera. Oh, I wouldn't be so <laughs> sure about that. Come on, guys, this isn't funny. You're bluffing, aren't you? If we're bluffing, how could we know about those three little freckles on your left thigh? How'd you know about those? Oh, we know about a lot of things. Okay, that's it. If you've got a naked <laughs> picture of me, I want to see it right now. Okay, Jonesy, you asked for it. <laughs> no, I'm for Eliza. <laughs> My eyes. <laughs> Here's your purse back. <laughs> Liza, I am so sorry. Jonesy? I know. Well, I hope you're happy. Aw, oh, come on, Jonesy. Don't be mad. You were a cute kid. So we're even? We're even. Next time, try to wait your turn for the bathroom. No way! It was my turn! It was my turn! <laughs> Hi, Jonesy. Who's your daddy? <laughs> Hi, Jonesy. <laughs> Looking good, sweet cheeks. Hey, Jonesy. <laughs> Jonesy? Hey, guys, what's up? Now, you know I hate to brag, but it needs to be said, I am a total stud. The chicks can't keep their eyes off me today. I am on fire! <laughs> <gasps> oh. <laughs> Whoa! What? <gasps> what? Um, could you excuse us for a minute? Jonesy has a unibrow. I know. <laughs> it's so bad. We have to tell him. We can't just let him walk around like that. Uh, why not? Uh, it's so hairy. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'm telling him. Uh, Jonesy? Have you looked in a mirror lately? I mean, really looked? No, don't need to. I know what I look like, and it's spelled H-O-T. You've got a unibrow. A what? A unibrow. The merging of two separate eyebrows into one gigantic entity. No, I don't. Yes, you do. It's like a big, huge caterpillar is sitting on your face. Sorry. <laughs> mm. Hey, get off me, dude! <laughs> Sorry, bro. How did I get this? I never had it before. These things can sneak up on you. I don't want to have just one eyebrow. Uh... Don't worry. They can get rid of it for you down at the spa. Uh-uh. Spas are for... Hi, Jonesy. Nice eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go, I'll go. Life begins after school That's when we bend all the rules Time to hang with all my friends We like to be together In a place where we belong I'm 16, starting to find my way Got a new job, gonna start at the mall today Thank God I'm on my own for the first time I'm 16, life is sweet When you're growing so fast you gotta make the good times last I'm 16 16 gotta make the good times last I know it stings, but it'll just last a minute. That hurt! But they're hot. Hey, beautiful. Woo-hoo-hoo! 
Fat move, man. Do it again. Thanks, dudes, but I gotta start training for the speed skating event. You're in the curb jam? Sweet. Good luck, man. Thanks, bro. Later. The swelling will go down soon. Sorry, I know waxing isn't fun. Are you kidding? The spa was awesome. A little painful, sure, but the view was worth it. Nice eyebrows. Dude. Thanks, man. You gotta get a girl up later, dudes. Ow! So, how's the training coming? Awesome. And check it out. I got a new sticker for the deck. I like to make Sally here feel appreciated before a big event. Okay, then. Wait, you're training for a speed slalom event. Won't putting a sticker on your board add drag? Chill. It's just a sticker, bro. Anything you add to your board can slow you down. Competitive swimmers shave their entire bodies to reduce resistance. It's the law of physics. <laughs> Geek. Whoa. They shave it all? That's pretty extreme. You want to win, right? Definitely. First prize is an all-expense-paid trip to the regional finals in Vancouver. Woohoo! Hey, Wazowski. I heard you think you're the fastest in the mall. Well, I'm here to tell you, you're not. Maybe you should put your skateboard where your mouth is. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see that. You got it, bro. Uh, I think you meant to say bro. Bra is for chicks. No, I meant to say bra. Bra. That's it, you and I, one race, this Friday after closing. You're on, Lizzie. And we'll see who pounds who into the pavement harder. That didn't even make sense. See you later, Judy. Don't forget to bring your cheerleaders. <laughs> uh. That dude just seriously harshed on my mellow. What dude? Yeah, who is he anyway? Wyatt, that's Mike Dent. Don't you remember him? The guy who used to take my cookies in kindergarten class? Teacher, Mike Dent took my cookies, my cookies. Oh, that Mike Dent. In that case, kick his butt. Dude, who cares? I have great news. Now, I don't know how we missed this, but I have found the greatest place in the whole mall to pick up chicks. The spa. The place is crawling with chicks. And the best part is they're all practically naked. Seriously? You saw them? With my own two eyes. Hi, Paige. Hi. She was at the spa, only not in that uniform, if you know what I'm saying. Saw her at the spa, 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 and yep. <gasps> spa. Does going to the spa hurt? Yes, but it's worth it. And check it out, no unibrow. Smooth. Uh, unbelievable. Nikki, I almost forgot. You have to come with me and give me your opinion on something. Why do I suspect I'm going to regret this? Come on. Ah! The new citizens of profanity jeans. Ooh, I'll put them on layaway until I've saved up enough. Well, if you're serious, I hear Chocoholics Anonymous is hiring. That's an awesome idea. Uh, you're the best, Nikki. You can thank me later. Please thank me later. Are you sure you want me to wax your arm hair? If it'll make me go faster, definitely. Hook me up, waxing lady. <laughs> Better find a girl here, Jonesy. <laughs> Don't worry, man. Just look around. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Nice. That's really smooth. If you want smooth skin, you should try our exfoliating sea salt body scrub. It feels amazing. You mean there's stuff you can do at the spa that doesn't hurt? <sighs> Oh, yeah. Ah. 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 If this is the Swedish massage, I can't wait for a Brazilian. I know, bro. I know. <laughs> wow. Who knew a dude's feet could look like this? This is where it's at. Got that right. I will never be high strung again. So, did I tell you? Chocoholics Anonymous hired me on the spot. I start today. Are you sure that's a good idea? You know how much you love chocolate. I know, right? It's so perfect. Just don't eat too much of... Hey!
What happened to you guys? The spa. You look amazing. Thank you. It's all part of our new lifestyle regime. You know, it really is good seeing you guys like this. Really? Sure. I mean, why should girls be expected to bear the brunt of society's pressure to look good all the time? Do you know what she's talking about? I'm saying that maybe now you'll appreciate how much trouble girls go through. <sighs> what was that? That was Mike. And there goes my mellow. What was he dragging behind him? A parachute. What, in case he falls off his board? Parachutes are used for training. They provide resistance so you can work on your speed and endurance. Exactamundo. I wish I had one. Hey, I could be your parachute. I know I wouldn't be a real parachute, but you could tow me around. I'll be your resistance. Really? There, you're all set. Are you sure about this? Absolutely. Hit it! <laughs> <laughs> this is fun! That'll be $68. <gasps> and 37. bottle of the Smash Face Hair Smoother. Hey! <gasps> what are you doing here? I was spending so much time here and looking so good doing it, they hired me. Which means, guess who gets 30% off all products and services? No way! That's amazing! I know! It's a sweet deal. Thanks, Jonesy. I've got to run to my new job. Later! Bye. Hey, up for some training tonight, Caitlin? Definitely! Uh, you might want to fix your hair. Look, it's Judy Kins and Why Yet going to get their hair done at the spa. Told you you were a bra, bra. Okay, <laughs> I'm usually a pretty chilled out guy, but that dude is starting to make me not chilled out. No worries. Me and my employee discount have just what you need. Mm -hmm. I can't believe we get to eat as much as we want. Seriously, this is the best job I've ever had. <laughs> Hi, can I help you? A little fat frozen yogurt, please. Nothing for me. I ate way too much chocolate when I worked here, and I gained 25 pounds in like three months. Wow, okay. Thanks. There you go. Can you imagine eating enough chocolate to gain mm. 25 pounds? I know, right? It is so sad how some people, like, just let themselves go. I mean, mm -hmm. if you don't take pride in how you look, how's anyone supposed to take you seriously? That's just what I was thinking. Okay, you daisies. Time to take this up a notch. Jude, ready for the T-1000 high action tanning booth? Right on. See you on the other side, dudes. Ladies, hello. <gasps> oh, no, you didn't. What happened to you guys? We've been at the spa. Yeah, we could see that. Your spray-on tans are orange. Your teeth are so bleached, they're practically blue. And Jude, what's with all the waxing? You look like you're made of plastic. It's a need for speed. I go way faster on my board. It's true. He does go faster. And the girls love it. Thanks for last night, guys. Mm -mm. The question isn't if we should go back, it's how. The spa's expensive. I don't know how I'm going to keep up with my highlights. You have to maintain them or you get roots. Did you know about roots? Root shock. Well, at least your roots won't be curly. It's going to totally ruin my new look. I need to look good or I'll get fired from the spa. And that'll mean no cash flow and no employee discounts. But I need to keep smooth. I can't have my arm hair slowing me down. Don't worry. Hairs only regrow at a rate of a quarter inch a month. Wow. Girls really do spend a lot of time thinking about this stuff. Ready for some more training? Sure. Wait! Okay. 
Is it me, or is Caitlin looking a little larger than usual? Um, she's looking a lot larger. Oh, no. I knew this would happen. You can eat all the free chocolate you want at Chocoholics. I tried to tell her, but does anyone ever listen to me? Sorry, did you just say something? <sighs> this can't be happening. I'm going even slower, dude. Maybe your training has plateau. Nice haircut, Lusowski. That's it. I'm going to pop that zit. Go get him, dude. <laughs> I was really tearing it up last week. Hmm. That's it. It's the hair. Got to get rid of the hair. Later. OK, bye. Time to close up. Already? I'll just take one for the road. Thanks for sneaking us in, bro. I've got to get rid of this hair. It's killing my chances. No worries, dude. I think we could all use a bit of a touch-up. Definitely. How hard can it be? You sure about this, bro? You bet. Who needs hair anyway? OK, then. Come on. I can't believe I'm doing this. Make sure you get the backs of my knees. <gasps> what? Ah! Didn't you ever take gym class? What is that stuff? I have no idea, but the seaweed lady covers me in it before my wrap. OK, I'm good to go. Come on, get this seaweed off me. Does the lady usually cover you in acrylic nail glue before your seaweed wrap? <laughs> dude! Come back, dude! <laughs> I almost don't want to know what is going on here. Hello. Time to buy my jeans. Oh, excuse me. I don't think these are the jeans I put on layaway. They don't fit. I'm afraid they are, dear, and they're our last pair. If you don't want them, I'm going to have to put them back on the rack. Mmm. Mmm, this is good. I did try to tell you, but you wouldn't listen, remember? You were eating six pounds of chocolate a day. Did you just say you got fatter? That is awesome! If you got fat, that means I'm not slow on my board, which means... You're going to kick his butt. Oh, yay! <laughs> That's great, Jude! I guess that means we didn't need to sneak into the spa to shave my head. Oh, now you tell me. I got fired, dude, from the best job I ever had. There were chicks, man. Chicks! That's it. They're gone. They don't have the sparkly jeans in my new size. Okay, pity party's over. Come on. Jude's contest is starting in 10 minutes. <gasps> 
Guys, look! These are even cuter than the last pair! Can I put these on layaway, please? But that's your old size. They won't fit. Oh, yes, they will! Come on, we're late for June. Okay, guys, remember, this is a one-on-one -on -one obstacle speed race. I want a nice, clean run. You got that? You're gonna lose, you know that, right? Kick his butt, dude! What? He stole my cookies. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> Go, dude, dude, get it done, baby! Yeah! Go, dude, you can do it! Move it! <laughs> oh, <whoa. laughs> oh. Dude! Yeah! has his day, Lissowski! And it looks like today is all yours, bruh! <laughs> <laughs>2nd in the curb jam. Way All to right. go! Yeah, it almost makes up for the fact that I'm green and bald. You know, I'm kind of glad to be getting back to normal. Looking good was way too much work. All that time and money? Why do girls bother? Because of guys like you. Good point. Looking good, ladies! Jen, Caitlin, aren't you two a little overdue at the spa? I'll handle this one. <laughs> Okay, so remind me again what the big deal is. It's my sweet 16, Nikki. Uh-huh. And? And it's the biggest, most important night of my life. It's when I finally say goodbye to my childhood and reintroduce myself as an adult woman. And how will you do that? By having the wickedest, most expensive party in history! I was watching Chill TV's Sweet 16 show and this one girl's daddy bought her a car. What kind of car? one episode, all the guests got MP3 players! Are you going to give everyone gifts? Totally! Oh. On my 16th birthday, I was at the movies with Jude and Jonesy. We saw Farting Ninja's Revenge, and Jonesy ate all my popcorn. <gasps> this is it! It's perfect! What the? <laughs> oh, it's like hanging out with dolphins! Life begins after school That's when we bend all the rules Time to hang with all my friends We like to be together In a place where we belong I'm 16, starting to find my way Got a new job, gonna start at the mall today Thank God I'm on my own for the first time I'm 16, life is sweet When you're growing up so fast Time's last I'm 16, 16 Gotta make the good times last So, I'm thinking of a Bollywood theme. I'm gonna transform the Soft Rat Cafe into this. Cool. And I talked to Chill TV Suite 16, and they want to shoot my party for their show. We get to be on TV? Awesome. Hey, Caitlin. <laughs> Why is it that whenever you see Benj, you lose the power of speech? I don't know. He's just so dreamy. I hope he asked to be my date for my Sweet 16. Why don't you just ask him to ask you? 
Duh. If I ask Benj to ask me, then he isn't asking me. I'm asking him. Not if he asks you after you ask him to ask you. But if I ask first, that makes me the asker, not the askee, regardless of him asking me after I ask... Okay, I'm asking you both to stop before I hurt one of you. Do you want me to help with decorations? I can be in charge of that if you want. Oh, that's so sweet, Jen. But I'm going to use professionals. Oh. So what do you want me to do? I think I've got it all covered. No, seriously. There has to be something you need me to do. Just come to the party. But I have never just gone to a party. You know, I'm usually in charge of something. Or everything. <gasps> I've got to do some serious shopping for my pre- and post-party outfits. Later. She's going to let me be in charge of something, though, right? I got to go to work. I just like to help, that's all. It is officially time to ice surf! Huh? <laughs> all right! Well, that was anticlimactic. What gives? Dude, your ice has no slide. Bad quality ice? This will require some investigating. Uh, we don't give discounts. But what if I told you I'd be wearing the outfits on Chill TV? Go on. Chill TV is filming my Sweet 16. So what do you say? 30% off? You will have to mention Albatross and Finch. Make it half price, and I'll bring the camera crew into the store during an interview. Deal. Bring it up. Caitlin Cook? <gasps> Gotta hand it to you. When it comes to shopping, you are a legend. Oh, hi, Trish. Thanks. I know we've had our differences, but I've still never found a better shopping partner. Really? Look, I'm not big on honesty, but here goes. Remember how we always plan to have our Sweet 16 parties together? Of course I do. Well, I miss you, Kate. And I thought that maybe if we still did it, it might fix everything that's gone wrong between us. I don't know. I know I abandoned you because you got that loser job at the Lemon. Yeah. And I framed you for shoplifting. Hey, that's right. And I wrote awful things about you in the girls' bathroom at school. You what? But that doesn't mean I don't want to be your friend. Really? I think hanging with you made me a better person, Kate. Aww. Uh, excuse me, no showing emotion on the premises, store policy. If we throw a joint Sweet 16, it will be a party people will talk about until they die. Let's go do what we do best. You're on. Jude read somewhere that perfect indoor ice requires a specific temperature. The mall's too hot. No way! Who knew you could learn stuff by reading? Cover me! It's chilling time. So, FYI, on my sweet 16... You need help? I'll make a cake. I make the most amazing carrot cake. Oh, no thanks, Jen. So, I really need you guys to keep an open mind here. I can make it with or without raisins. Let the girls speak. Okay, I'm going to have a joint Sweet 16 party. With Trisha. What? 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 You're kidding, right? No, for real. Oh. I know what you're all thinking. Bad, Bad idea. idea. But I know Trisha better than all of you, and I think she's changed. People like that don't change. Come on, guys. Doesn't everyone deserve an eighth chance? We just don't want to see you get hurt by her again, Caitlin. But if we have our party separately, half the people I want at mine will be at hers. But if we do it together, everyone will be there. That's true. One giant party would be off the hook. Hey, if you want to give her another chance, we'll try to. Affirmative. Jen? All right. Nikki? Fine. Yay! Yes! Jonesy, Trisha and I want to hire you to promote the party. Just walk around in this outfit hyping the party. I don't think I want to dress like that. We'll pay you. At your service? Nikki and Jen, I need you to... Make animals out of napkins? I can do that. No. Meet me and Trish at Grind Me in an hour for a planning session. Awesome. I'll bring pens. Thanks, guys. Ooh. 
Does anyone else find it cold in here today? I'm gonna try this on. Off to work. I have nowhere to go. Trisha better not have some evil plan up her sleeve. Who knows? Maybe she has changed. Even a snake can shed its skin. Cool. No. Yes. Absolutely <gasps> not. No. Never. Nope. Bad. Four of these. Yes. No. Cute. Yes. Yuck. No. 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 This is no. gonna be fun. I brought pens. Once you have reached the optimum temperature, it is time to get your ice to the perfect thickness. Did you hear that, Ice? We're going to make you perfect. <laughs> How's the new job, dude? Best gig ever. Great coin, and everyone who wants an invite thinks I'm the one they need to impress. Why would they think that? Because that's what I tell them. Sweet. So is the ice ready yet? Whoa, dude, stop! This is a work of art in progress. No one stepped on the Mona Lisa before it was dry. I'm not sure anyone ever stepped on the Mona Lisa. So what do we have so far? I'll read it back. Secretary, dibs. <clears throat> okay, we got the location, the theme, caterers and decorators, and Chill TV is confirmed. And I'll keep a registry at the khaki barn so no one ends up in the same dress as someone else. Caitlin, great suggestions. I knew it was gonna be fun to do this together. I'm so glad you want to use all my ideas. For invites, I'm thinking gold coins with alternating 3D images of you and me on the front. What do you think? I love it. Now, all I need to make it perfect is Benj as my date. <laughs> Benj? Benj? Turner? My Benj? I thought Benj was single. Right now he is, but I've been working on him for over a week, and I plan to be going out with him by Monday. Uh, that doesn't sound evil at all. I really thought he was getting close to asking me. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't mean to laugh, but come on. What? Look, this is easy to solve. As long as you both agree to play fair, the first one he asks wins. Is flirting allowed? I would say yes. You're on. Agreed. Mandy, Gwen, thanks for all the laughs. <laughs> Hmm. Don't be mad, mommy. Hachu! Oh! Oh! What? Where? What? Who? Hachu! Oh! Hmm. Oh, I love that hat. Actually, it looks even better on you. As a matter of fact, I'm going to buy it for you. Isn't that what friends do? Buy each other gifts? I saw it in a movie once. Hey, Caitlin. That's a great hat. Hi, uh, you, um, have no shirt on. <laughs> I just got a job here. It's my first day. Hi, Benj. I'm buying Caitlin that hat. Just something I do. Nice stuff. <laughs> yeah, I saw you try it on first, and you're definitely right. It looks better on Caitlin. Congrats on the new job. You look great in your, uh, uniform. Thanks. I just wish it wasn't so cold in here today. Ooh. <laughs> Is it okay if I swing by the lemon tomorrow? I wanted to talk to you. Sure. See you then. <laughs> Thanks for the hat, Trisha. I On really... second thought, I really need a new hat. Maybe I'll buy you something another time. Temperature's down. Box still locked. Odd. I smell punk. Don't you need to take your shirt off to get ready for work? <laughs> It might be a little weird to wander around the mall without a shirt on, don't you think? Oh, right. So, about your Sweet 16 party. Uh-huh. If you don't have a date yet... Yeah? I thought maybe you and I... Caitlin, <gasps> are you ready to freak? Benj, just give us a sec, okay? Guess I'll talk to you later, Caitlin. Come back on your break. I'll be here. No fair! You knew he was about to ask me. Oh, was he? Okay, that was dirty. I had no idea what they were talking about, I swear. Right. So what's the big emergency? I got the invites and I wanted to show them to you. Cool. Oh no! They made a mistake! Both pictures are of you! No mistake. I decided to go it alone. What? You were right, Kate. We have so much bad history. It could never work. Oh, and try not to cry until I'm gone. It would just be... Awkward. She's gone. Ah! 
Got your text. What's going on? Trisha double-crossed Caitlyn. Stole the party up from under her. She took all her ideas and money. But we still get to be on Chill TV, right? <laughs> nice. I'm not having a sweet 16. We'll throw you a sweet 16. I am now officially in charge. The party will go on. Right, guys? Right. Hey, how'd you make these ice cubes so clear? <laughs> okay, let's focus here. Caitlin, it's gonna be fine. I'm sure we can still have a great party with no band, no food, and no people. <laughs> oh. Trisha totally stole- I heard, I heard. Then why are you still dressed like Maharishi? Because I told Trisha that between Caitlin and the best party ever, I choose the party. What? Give the Jonesmeister a little credit. I'm gonna sabotage the party by spreading the word that it's going to suck out loud. Oh. oh! Well, if there's one thing Jonesy's good at, it's taking something great and ruining it. Thank you, Wyatt. No matter what happens, we've got to make Caitlin's birthday into something really special. I need my sweet 16 to be extra special. So I used the party side of my brain and came up with all these great ideas. Benj! Benj! Come talk to Chill TV! Hey. Can I ask you something personal? Of course. Take five, guys. I know you and Caitlin are good friends. The best? I'm gonna ask her to the party. Do you know what kind of flowers she likes? Oh, Benj. Caitlin's not interested. Really? I, I thought she was kind of into me. Well, I thought so too, and so I asked, and she said that she could do better. Oh, I guess I had Caitlin all wrong. Personally, I think any girl will be lucky to have you as a date for their sweet 16. Thanks. Any girl. Thanks. Any girl standing in front of you. <laughs> me. You want me to take you to your sweet 16? Oh, Benj, you see right through me. <laughs> Why, little dudette? Why? Is there a problem? The ice and the hopping and the crunching. Out, out, out! I have ice to save. These grooves are too deep. This can only mean one thing. The security dude turned the heat back up. Hey, guys. Can you keep this somewhere so that Caitlin doesn't see it? It's the dress we got her for her birthday. Sure. I'll put it in the freezer. How did you two afford this? I had some money saved up that I was going to use for a new bike. I had to take a big pay advance and agree to clean the staff bathroom for the next three months. Don't worry. It's in safe hands. That's a lovely dress, Wyatt. Oh, my friend Sweet Six. You weren't one of those weirdos that enjoys putting sides of beef in dresses to practice dancing. What? Are you a meat dancer, Wyatt? A meat dancer? No. It's okay, Wyatt. I used to be a meat dancer, too. It's how I got started. Started? Yep. But now I'm a competitive ballroom dancer. I'm officially out of the freezer. Well, I... Want me to teach you? I knew you were going to ask. Actually, I was... Hoping to start now. Ah! All right. I'm glad you asked, because otherwise I would have had to fire you for dancing with the meat. Fire me? No fear of that now. Not going to fire my new ballroom prodigy. <laughs> Remember, Wyatt, it's about passion. Show me your passion for dance. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Straight up, this party is going to be lame. No way. It's going to be the party of the year. Going to this party will be the biggest mistake of your life. Because I know I'm fired. You missed a spot. <laughs> we, said we said the same, same thing. thing. We did it again. Cool! Yeah, it's almost like between you, there's only one brain. Oh my gosh! She's right! We, we share, share a brain! We share a brain! We share a brain! We share a brain! We share a brain! How's the ice? High quality maximum slide. I'll be the judge of that. Sweet. Maybe we should introduce you to the tango. Fine. 
there's that passion I was talking about. This is all wrong. I want the curtains to have balance tops and a bigger sway. I think they're working as hard as they can, Trisha. I didn't ask for your opinion. Mm. <laughs> I just want it to be perfect. Aha! Caught you red-handed, maggot. What do you think you're doing? Turning up the heat. Just as I th... Turning up the heat? Yeah, getting a bit chilly in here, don't you think? Yes, I did. Good work, soldier. Keep a lookout for the couple who keeps turning it down. Roger that. Come on, Caitlin, just forget about Trisha. I can't. She stole my money, all my great ideas, my date, and right now she's probably wearing the most beautiful dress ever. Yep. I bet Trisha, Mandy, and Gwen all look fantastic in it. What? I'll explain later. First, go put <gasps> this on. Ah. <Aww. laughs> Let's hear it for Trisha, with her two best friends, Minnie and Gwen. They're all wearing the same dress. <laughs> you think this is funny? I never should have stolen you away from Caitlin. You two totally deserve each other. I'm out of here. Don't forget to smile pretty for the camera, Trisha. <gasps> we can edit some of this stuff out, right? Oh, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Done. Jen says they'll be here any second. Light it up. Sweet! Now check this. Nice. Whoa! How'd you do that? As the good book says, warm temperature and humidifiers cause ice to fog. Read it. Won't that ruin your perfect ice? Yeah, but this is a special occasion. <laughs> Here we are, Caitlin. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Caitlin! Caitlin. <gasps> it's beautiful! You guys did all of this for me? Well, Jen did most of the planning. You guys did great work. And it was fun with the color-coded spreadsheet, right? Thanks, guys. This is the best Sweet 16 I could have ever imagined. So, who's gonna be Caitlin's first Sweet 16 dance partner? <laughs> wow, where did you learn to dance like this? Don't ask. Hey, can I cut in? <gasps> Benj, you came! There's no place I'd rather be, and no one I would rather be with. Happy Sweet Sixteen, Caitlin. <laughs> My fantasy. I'm here. I thought you might want to see this. Tonight on Jill TV, the Sweet 16 Queen of Me. I didn't ask for your opinion. I never should have stolen you away from Caitlin. You two totally deserve each other. Oh, whatever. Well, I am glad they saw her for who she really is. After all, no one deserves a ninth chance. You got that right. That's for Eight sure. Strikes, you're up. So, Wyatt, how are things going with Marlo? Yeah, that new girlfriend of yours is H.O.T. Well, we went to the Rancid Bandage concert on Saturday and things got a little sweaty. But then they turned on the AC. That kind of sweaty. Bummer. That's okay. I'm just taking it slow. Don't exactly have a stellar track record with girls. The last thing I want to do is screw things up. What about you, Nikki? How are things going with Jonesy? He's taking me on a so-called romantic movie date this weekend. Could be good, could be lame. Stay tuned. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> mm. Ugh, what's that stench? Gas leak. Chemical spill. So guys, like what you smell? <gasps> uh. Gross. <coughs> oh my word. Pretty sexy cologne, huh? Kind of leaves you speechless, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Dates <laughs> canceled, Jonesy. <laughs> I must get air. 
Life begins after school. That's when we bend all the rules. Time to hang with all my friends. We like to be together in a place where we belong. I'm 16, starting to find my way. Got a new job, gonna start at the mall today. Thank God I'm on my own for the first time. I'm 16, life is sweet when you're growing up so fast. You gotta make the good times last. way in. A baby maker booth. Did she just say what I think she said? It's a photo booth, Nikki. A really cool photo booth. Why is it called a baby maker booth? Why is it allowed in the mall? And why are we even asking? Because seriously, I don't want to know. It's called a baby maker booth because it photographs couples and then spits out a picture of what their future baby might look like. Future babies? Cool. Do they like wear little jetpacks and stuff? Come see for yourselves. I'm taking Benj there at lunch. He'll be so excited! Caitlin, don't you think taking your boyfriend, who you've only gone on two dates with, to a baby picture booth is putting just a little bit of pressure on him? Oh no, he's totally into it. <laughs> Ew, what is that? Like you haven't smelled cologne before, from a distance, because your girlfriends abandoned you. Self-defense! <laughs> I'm still choking on that rank. Where did you get it? from my new job at Purely Petals Florists. They're having a monster flowers and cologne sale. Not all sales are alike. Haven't you heard of the rash or reek rule? Reduce colognes and perfumes either give you a rash or make you reek. Good thing I bought a whole crate of it. There's a limited range of acceptable scents for men, and that one is so not one of them. So I didn't pick the right cologne. Big whoop. It's not like the Jonesmeister needs any help to smell good. In fact, I'll bet my natural smell is a chick magnet. Jonesy, a week without pit juice and you'd smell worse than the loathsome washrooms, just like the rest of us. Actually, after about a week, you probably wouldn't smell so bad. Huh? Stink cycle, dudes. Stinks always start off bad. Then after about a week, they get better. Spoken by the true voice of experience. I think it's time we separated the men from the boys with a little something called a man-off. A man-off? A contest to see which guy has the best natural scent after one week of not cleaning. That means no baths, no showers, no cologne, deodorant, or soap. Who's in? You had me at no baths. I'm in. It can't be serious. You want me to stink for an entire week just to prove my manliness to you? Like you don't need to, Mr. I'm too nervous to use the men's washroom. Admit it, you always run home at lunch when you gotta go. Hey, I used the washrooms once last month. It was a Tuesday. <sighs> Fine, when do we start? Having your boyfriend enter a man stink contest? Whoa, that's a low point in any relationship. On the bright side, Nikki, it can't be worse than his cologne. <laughs> So, how does this thing work again? We just go in together and the camera takes pictures of both of us. Then it prints out a picture of what our baby would look like. Isn't that amazing? Oh yeah, a real party. Count me out. Me too! I'm not going in that thing. It's just a waste of money. Total waste of money. A huge waste of money. So let's not go in. For that reason. Mm-hmm. For that reason. Exactly. I can't believe you guys are dying to try this, because I know we are. Right, Benj? Oh, yeah. Dying. Absolutely. <laughs> so what do you think it'll be, boy or girl? Boy, definitely. For a girl, what do you think of the name Emma? Loving it? Well, names aren't always easy to agree on. But we can agree on how beautiful our girl's going to be. <laughs> Something wrong? My baby! It's ugly! What? There's no such thing as an ugly baby. Oh. 
You'd think so, but you'd be wrong. <laughs> oh, congratulations, guys. It's a monkey. Alien, dude. We come in peace. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this has to be a mistake. We're trying it again. And no one's leaving until we all see the do-over. You didn't smile. That's why the photo was so ugly. We'll fix this. One more time. Uh, maybe later. I've, uh, I've got to be somewhere. Bye. Caitlin, I'm sure that booth just prints out random baby pictures and throws in some ugly ones as a joke. Watch. Jude and I will probably get an ugly baby, too. <gasps> it's beautiful! It's the most beautiful baby I've ever seen! Ah! Hey there, little dude. Any particular reason why you have your baby booth photo up there? It was too big to fit in my wallet. Future man off champ in the house. You guys must be stinking in your boots knowing how bad I'm gonna beat you. I'm telling you dudes, stink cycle. I already got a four day head start on you not showering. Never been a big fan. Jude, you work in an ice rink where it's too cold to break a sweat. Jonesy, you work at a florist surrounded by sweet-smelling flowers. How is that fair? You mean compared to your job, working in a greasy, hot, rancidy, meat-filled burger joint? It's not. So I should stay in your stupid man-smell contest because... I knew you'd try to weasel out of this. So I decided to make two trophies. One for man-off champ, the guy with the best scent, and one for man-off chump, the guy with the worst scent. That's you. What? No, it isn't. Oh, yes, it is. By backing out of the contest, you admit that you reek the worst. I can't wait to show this baby to your girlfriend. Fine. Promise not to say anything to Marlo and I'll stay in. <sighs> My rancidy, meat-filled job calls. All right. I knew that would keep him in. Once again, our man off is man on. Nasty. Quiet. A minute. Just because a kid threw up on your uniform doesn't mean you can ignore our smile every 10 seconds rule. <laughs> Better. You now have nine seconds to prepare for the next one. Are the onions off? Onions, yeah, that's it. Hi, Wyatt. Is it your break time yet? I uh, can't take a break today, Marlo. I'm too uh, busy. OK. One for the road, then? <laughs> like I said, very busy. Is everything cool? Oh, yeah, sure. Couldn't be better. You're still meeting me later for our quote-unquote baby picture, right? <laughs> it just might make the cut for our demo cover. New photo booth? After work? I'll be there. How am I ever going to keep this up without getting dumped? These fruity hair clips are so cute! I heard Rachel McAdams was spotted wearing them last week. Ew, this peach is rotten. That's because it's a kiwi. That's the only kiwi I want! No way! Get your own! With that much fruit on your head, you guys look like Carmen Miranda. Carmen Electra wears these too? <gasps> Yay! Hey, babe. For tonight's date, I was thinking we'd start ew, by going... Ew, get away from me! Oh, come on! You love my rugged man smell. Sorry, Jonesy, but you smell revolting. Playing hard to get? I'm into that. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, never thought he'd be happy to sniff clone fumes. Oh, you tooted! Nikki, it's hard to make out with you when you keep moving away like that. Until you shower, Jonesy, my lips are off limits. But I can't shower for three more days. I can't go three days without affection. My, my lips will shrivel up. Please, babe, just a peck on the cheek to get me through the day. Ew, stench! He's not even wearing khaki barn cologne. Get away from us! Hey! Ow, 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 ow! Wyatt, you're late. Where are you? I'm on my way. Uh, go inside the booth. Uh, I'll meet you there. <sighs> oh. Babe? Was that you? Uh -oh. Yeah, I just realized I forgot my wallet at work. Sorry. Oh, Wyatt. 
This is our baby, all right. Another perfect baby? Everyone who steps in this stupid booth has a beautiful baby except for me! That can't be true. Oh, yes! It's cute, isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, Caitlin, I gotta go. You mothers of beautiful babies are all the same! It's always me, me, me! Do you really want to try this again? I'm sure Benj couldn't care less about some dumb fake baby photo. He shouldn't. I dumped him this morning. What? But yesterday you said you thought Benj was the one. He was her 12th the one. Not that I'm counting. I have to find the guy who can give me a cute baby. A guy whose overall hotness will finally tip the scales in my favor. Cover boy here ought to do it. <laughs> Jonesy, quit stalking me. I like my men bathed. So until you are, keep a healthy distance. Oh, man. I can't take much more of this. I gotta get the guys to cave. Jude ought to be easy, but Wyatt? I'll have to catch him cheating or something to get him to fold. Well, speak of the devil. Try a spritz of our newest cologne. Come on, Wyatt, be bad. You know you want to be. Take the free sample. Mm, I don't know. I just don't know. Well, well, look who's creeping around like some unspayed tomcat. Shh. Trying to spy here. A little quiet, please? Illicit surveillance. Disrespecting authority. Can't to make it three for three by resisting arrest, Mr. <sighs> Mr. <sighs> what is it? it? Smells like a like a cow patty. Cow patties make me. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't possibly accept any scent that covers my natural manly aroma. Good day. Oh no, more man stink. Hey! Finally! Oh, the crappy bard makes something useful. Ladies? So, Nikki, I need your help buying some baby clothes. Excuse me? Baby clothes. Something extra styling so my little dude here knows he's special. Uh, right. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. Long lunch break. For a size zero, she could really drag a heavy load. What's with the photo booth? That? It's, uh, so I can take pictures of all my best customers. To give them discounts. Hey! Close call on the cologne spritz, huh, cheater? Since when do you start checking up on me? Since you started looking twice at water fountains. Guys, this bed off has gotten way out of hand. It's not about who smells the best anymore. It's about who smells the least horrible. And it's gotten really nasty, which would be hilarious if it didn't affect me so directly. We're not stopping the man off. Unless, of course, Wyatt wants to drop out for real this time. You wish. The best smell winner's gonna be either you or me, which is a nice way of saying it'll be me. What about Jude? I think we can all agree that Jude and Hygiene have never been on a first-name basis. There are still three days left in the man-off, so don't let me catch you washing your hands with spit again, because from now on, spit counts as a cleaning fluid. Pardon me? Close enough. Come on, I don't yeah. have all day. If you take my photo, can I get a discount? Guys only. Uh, I'm next! Uh-huh. You're cheating again, aren't you? Me? What about you? I don't cheat, Wyatt. I'm only here to keep an eye on your cheating. You're here to wash your armpits, aren't you? Keep your spit hands to yourself. 
Yo, Jen, you and I should have a mom and pop talk over some grindage about our chip off the old Jude stir. Jude, you're really starting to freak people out. Your little dude son, it's a photo, a printout. It's not real. It's cool. I'm used to being a single parent. Just keep the holidays open for us to visit. Oh. Work break's almost over. I can hold it, but can you? Yeah! Fine! <gasps> hey! Wyatt? Marlo, hi! You, uh, use washrooms too? Wyatt, I heard about your man-off competition. You did? Who told you? Jen and Nikki. The fruit clips on their noses kind of gave it away. <laughs> I don't care if you have B.O. You don't? Of course not. The biggest rock stars in the world all stink. B.O. is rock and roll, baby. I didn't think of it that way. I'll see you at the judging tomorrow. Go get him, tiger. Thanks. <laughs> you obviously want a truce. And you don't? <laughs> OK, OK. But just until we're done. <sighs> I'm keeping my eye on you, Jonesy. Just not at this particular moment. All right, stink boys. One by one, each of you will walk toward us, the judges. When your reek becomes too much for us to take, we will yell at you to stop. The guy who makes it closest to us wins. Wyatt, you're up first. Shields down, go. Wow, I made it pretty close. I mustn't be as smelly as I thought. <laughs> Forget rock star stink. You're not even a boy band stink. You're disappointed? Stink doesn't make the star, Wyatt. And now, the moment we've all been dreading, Jonesy. Go! <laughs> oh, come on! You gotta be kidding! <laughs> it's just... <laughs> that is the grossest reek ever! <gasps> Ew, it's in my nose! I can't get it out of my nose! <laughs> oh man, this contest is fixed! Jude, let's get this over with. Where's your baby picture? I decided little dude needs a big dude who can be more of an authority figure to him. Cause kids? Really need discipline. Oh, you gave LD up for adoption? <laughs> it, it's all for the best. <laughs> Is it just me, or does Jude just smell like Jude? He never showered much to begin with. He's always had a faint, lingering odor. We have a winner! Sweet! I'd like to thank the Stink Cycle for all it's given me over the years. Peace out! No way! I demand a re-sniff! Jonesy, your B.O. killed every flower I had. Huh? You're fired! What? I'm sorry, don't even... No, you're fired! Ahem. I've received numerous complaints of unladylike behavior at this unlawfully moved photo booth. Which of you lowlifes is responsible? Oh, it's the booth's fault. No matter who I pose with, this booth prints out butt-ugly baby pictures, and I've posed with every single cute guy I could find. I don't recall being asked. Like I have a choice now. <gasps> She's beautiful! She's beautiful! My baby is beautiful! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! <coughs> well... Unless you uh, want a ticket, I suggest you return this booth to its rightful spot across the hall from Belts, Belts, Belts. Hmm, cute kid. <sighs> Guys, there's still the Man Off Chump trophy to hand out. Oh, Jonesy. Uh, I don't think I will. Go ahead, buddy. <laughs> you deserve it. Oh, man. I'm telling you, I've never left a bigger ring around the tub than I did last night. My mom made Jonesy run all his clothes through the wash twice just to get out the stench. Yeah, well, at least Nikki's back to finding the Jonesmeister irresistible again. Hmm. 
It's amazing how charming a man off chump can be when he showers. Man off champ. Jude Lizowski. And all it took was two weeks of not showering. Uh, uh, two weeks? Two weeks? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Harsh. <laughs>